On January 27, 2013, this is Advanced Lesson Number 4. Green Bridge friends, Michael here at Bridge Hands, and welcome you to another lesson on pass out seat bidding. That's balancing seat bids when there are several passes around to us and we're in the hot seat. What do we do? What's a bridge player to do? Well, let's take a look at some of those situations right now. Now, in the pass out seat, we are going to try to be a bit of a hero, aren't we? Try to keep the auction alive. So ideally, we will try to compete and strive to make the opponents earn the auction. That is, we will borrow a king, about three high cards points from our partner in the pass out seat. Hopefully, our partner will not forget when we're trying to be a hero and not punish us. We will consider extra points for things such as shape. If we have few cards in lefty's suit, that is a 4-4-4-1, four, 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 a 5-4-3-1, a 5-4-2-2, two, two, you get the idea. Shape is better. Working honors are good. That is, we'd like honors to be in one or two suits rather than spread from here to kingdom come. We would like onside honors, so we wouldn't like queens, kings, or jacks in lefties opening bid suit. Having the master suit is always good, the spade suit, and other things. Like what? Well, maybe even body cards. Tens, nines, and jacks might be helpful also. The idea is we're trying to push the opponents past the two level. When they get to the three level, they may not make their contract. Well, okay, what are some of the downsides? Well, one would be the opponents find a better suit. That is, the majors. Sell a mill fine game. Exuberant partner. We don't want them to overbid. Don't want them to punish us. And when we're vulnerable versus non-vulnerable, well, it goes quick, doesn't it? If we're doubled, 200 for the first under trick, 500 for the second under trick, and so on. So what are some of the pass out seat considerations? Well, that would be things such as the vulnerability. We'd obviously love to be favorable, non-vulnerable versus them vulnerable. Neutral vulnerability, both of us non-vulnerable are vulnerable. And then the dark side of the force, yes, that's where there's adverse vulnerability, where we're vulnerable and they're not. And the type of the bridge scoring. Is it contract rubber bridge? Or is it international match points where the game bonuses pay a lot of extra dividends, especially if they're vulnerable? Versus a match point where you can stick your head out a little bit more and if you don't get a good board, well, a zero is a zero, as they say. Um, working honors and the body cards as we said and then also the partnership style is your partnership style where you have a generous risk reward attribution or would you and your partner or one of you prefer to play the conservative partner okay how about possible balancing actions well first there's the pass obviously that's one we oftentimes want to do when we should be striving to make a bid of course, bidding at the one level if we can bid in a suit higher than our lefty. Bidding one no trump, that is with appropriate stoppers, or making a takeout double, and there's actually five more to follow. We'll get the first three here today. So, okay, I guess it's time to discuss some hands. Let's go ahead and head for the table. I'll see you there. Okay, bridge friends, on our first hand, we're going to take a look at a one diamond by Wes, our lefty, passed by our partner pass by righty and our hand is it's a four four three two in spades jack ten two little in hearts three little in diamonds king double ten and in clubs queen jack four times so we have three high card points for the king of diamonds maybe that's lefty suit uh, three high card points for the queen jack fourth so let's take a look at the pluses and minuses well first off Shortness in the diamond suit would normally be a plus, but not when it's the left-hand opponent suit and you've got a king sitting there, is it? We have spread honors, don't we? Look at that. A jack, um, a queen jack, and a questionable king. That's not good. We have secondary honors. We've got a lot of queens and jacks. And then our working honors in the club suit. Well, we've got one positive there. That might produce something. Our partner's got an ace, king, tens. Who knows? So um, really, there's a lot of negatives on this. So your bid is, hopefully, a pass, right? Yeah, a pass is what we want to do here. 
Yeah, I, we've talked about borrowing the king. We do want to strive to bid in some auctions, but in this one, no, that king of diamonds isn't worth anything. Put it in the spade suit and I'll come back and talk to me then. But I don't think so here. Or maybe, well, with a club. We'll get to talking about that in a little bit. Let's try another hand, though. Okay, so the next hand. One diamond, pass, pass. And our hand is? Uh, it's another 4, 4, 3, 2. This one looks better, doesn't it? So, in, spades, king, jack, 10, four times. In hearts, three babies. And this time, two babies and diamonds. We prefer that than having king doubleton. And, once again, queen, jack, four times. So... Shortness in the diamond suit, a plus. Working honors in two suits, a plus. And consider the vulnerability and consider the game format. Is it match points versus rubber or imps? If it's match points and you want to make a lively bid, if it's favorable or maybe neutral vulnerability, you might want to keep the auction going. But what are you going to bid? Well, you could do a takeout double, but you might want to consider with three spades is to make a one spade call. Yes, I know we're supposed to have five, but sometimes we have to make drastic situations when their drastic measures are calling for it. And so, yeah, I think in this case, with three honors, we would do that. Hopefully our partner won't punish us. We might be in a four three fit. They might have three. It's true. Good things don't always happen. But oftentimes they will if you don't sell out and just let them have it at the one level. So as we spoke about earlier, consider the risk reward and how you and your partner play ball. Okay, next hand. On our first hand, we'll have West as the dealer and they have the old classic rattlesnake hand. It might bite you. It's a four, 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 one shape. And in diamonds, ace, queen, jack, nine spot. Singleton, queen of clubs, who knows, jack, ten, nine, four times in hearts, and ace, nine, eight, seven in spades. Well, we've got some good intermediates in these suits. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, take off one for a singleton, thirteen. Don't like the jack fourth, but with ten, nine, it's pretty good, and we've got both majors. So, yes, we'll open one diamond, a four-card suit. Over then to the north hand. It is a 4-4-3-2, four, 4-4 four, four, four of the pointed suits. Ace, king, three times in clubs. Ace, eight spot in hearts. Queen, four times in spades, and four baby diamonds. Well, we have enough points. We'd like to have a bid. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, we don't have a five card suit. And if we make a takeout double, well, we've only got a double to hearts. We can't do that, so we have to pass and hope our partner in the balancing seat can come up with an action, perhaps, if need be. And sure enough, over in the east hand, they have a 4441 and a singleton in diamonds. How about that? So as luck would have it, with king four times in hearts and four spades, jack ten four times, there is no bid there. Uh, you would need more points to make a call. Too bad they didn't open a heart, but that didn't happen. And in south, we have a five, four, three, one hand. Interesting. So we have the shape in diamonds, king of 10, 8, 7, uh-oh, lefty suit. In clubs, jack, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, sort of a sequence suit. Queen three times in hearts in a singleton, king of spades. So take off one for a singleton. Who knows what it's worth? At least they didn't bid that suit. That's maybe worth two. Heart suit. Another two is four. One for the jack is five. Maybe one for the length is six. Three for the king of diamonds, nine. We'd like to have a little bit more pure points to come in at the two level, though. So um, I don't think borrowing a king and saying, oh, we've got 12 points works here. It's only jack five times. This is a problematic hand, isn't it? So if it was the spade suit, jack five times, I would say yes, by all means do it. The club suit coming at two level, I don't think so. So, yeah, our partner maybe has a bit in mind, but um, I think we got to pass. Okay, well, the opening lead then is by partner over in the north playing one diamond in the west hand. And so they'll lead ace from ace-king, no doubt about that. They lead the ace. 
uh, two, we play Discourage and Six, but uh, McQueen pops from over here in Westie. So even though they can see that the six was discouraging because the five, four, three, and two are shown, uh, North figures, okay, rather than switching to Ace Doubleton of Hearts, let's keep this thing rolling. So they play the king. Uh, we go up with the seven, still playing low cards, and they pop with the nine. Whoa, wait a second, a nine? Hmm. So they have nothing less than the nine to rough with. Well, that is interesting. Good things may be happening after all. So um, you're on the lead over here in West. What's your plan? I guess um, you can finesse towards that king of hearts, I suppose. So a jack of hearts, see if they cover it. Well, they do. They cover with the ace. Normally, we wouldn't want to cover with an ace. We'd rather catch an honor, come around the other way. There's nothing that seems to be promotable in the dummy. Uh, but with Ace Doubleton, I can understand why they went up with the Ace. You're not going to crash with your partner's King. And you'll probably be looking for some roughs with these four baby diamonds. So you come back with a heart. Sure enough, they win the King. And, um, okay, declare over in the West. What's your strategy here? Well, you've got four, one, and diamonds. So you probably don't see much opportunity to play the diamond suit unless you want to play it as though it's a one no trump contract effectively giving that up so the play is going to be a diamond go for the finesse why not i guess you're never going to get to the dummy on your own again probably and it does hold so okay we know that at least it's a, a king doubleton or hopefully more in the diamond suit so okay play your ace of spades and okay it dropped the king well there goes that king it wasn't worth much after all and um, so you don't really have much to do here, do you? You could play a diamonds out, I suppose. Um, see if the king drops, but they play a heart. And it goes to south's queen. And then a diamond back. Might as well play a diamond through at this time. Don't want to do the club suit, I don't think. Um, and um, they rough it with the queen. They play a spade. Goes up to partner North's queen, and they come back with a spade. We rough it, a club, it holds. They've only got the singleton ace now. Play another club, rough, North has to rough it, and we win the king of diamonds or the five of diamonds. It was not good for the declarer. So this is one where, yeah, you were able to um, set them even though the king of diamonds look like it might be on side, but king ten four times, probably some good chances to have something. And if you came in at two clubs, well, we'll take a look at playing in a cub contract in just a moment, as well as seeing about how if they were to play in a contract, if we let them go ahead and start betting, and we'll look at that next.